To those who appreciate music but do not create it, the whole process of musical composition is a major mystery, and usually the artist himself cannot explain it. But there is on record the story of one man, the great Frenchman Charles Camille Sassaz, who knew that death itself had produced his requiem. <laughs> In 1871, Saint-Saul was known merely as a brilliant young virtuoso, and he held the post of organist at the Madeleine in Paris. On a certain day in January of that year, when the Franco-Prussian War was drawing to a close, he applied for a brief leave of absence so that he might meet his old friend Henri Renault in a town somewhere near the front lines. Renault had written in that he would be spending his day's furlough there, but when Saint-Saul arrived, the commanding officer to whom he applied for information told him. I am sorry, monsieur. The company to which your friend is attached has not yet returned from the front. If you will do me the honor of having dinner with me or whether, Reynolds' loss will be my gain. So the composer, deeply disappointed though he was, sat down at a table in the commanding officer's quarters. And the two men dined together. And the dandelion wine was powerful, if not tasty, and before long, Sanson had forgotten his disappointment and was enjoying himself thoroughly. <laughs> yes, Camille Sanson was in excellent spirits. And then suddenly, he stopped laughing. The smile was gone from his face. And then, a bewildered frown furrowed his brow. How strange! How very strange! Monsieur, what is it? Are you ready? I heard music. Music? In my mind, of course. While I was laughing, it came very suddenly. Chords that I've never heard before. Usually I must labor to find a theme. This one came almost as if... as if it was someone else who created it. A theme for a symphony, perhaps? No. Not a symphony. It is too sad for that. They are the most mournful chords I have ever heard. They speak only of death. If I use them at all, it must be for a requiem. Sansar returned to Paris that same evening without having seen Henri Renault. It was on the following afternoon that the commanding officer in the little town sat down reluctantly to pen a letter to his recent dinner guest. I must hasten to pass on to you this sad news. Yesterday, even as we sat together at dinner, your dear friend Henri Renault was killed by an enemy bullet. Yes, Renault's death had occurred at precisely the same moment as Sanson heard the tragic chords. And the Greek composer himself was profoundly impressed by the fact. That it is a matter of fact that his immortal requiem came into being at the very instant that his dearest friend met his death on the battlefield. And this is a fact, incredible but true. Mm-hmm. 